beat the Bucks at home last night, and they are perfect against the Eastern Conference at home. But I'm sure you'd argue that the West is better than the East, so it's a little misleading as Carmelo Anthony hits Denver's first shot of the game. Well, 29.8 a game. Carmelo Anthony has taken his game to new heights. He has been terrific this season. 47% from the field. Here's Anthony over Karolinko. Four points for Boozer, four points for Carmelo Anthony. Well, he could put it on the deck as he did the first time against Karolinko. Got some contact. Team defender. And a guy that I think helps this Utah offense stretching the floor for Boozer to do more work down low and Darren Williams as well. And obviously there have been rumors about Boozer. He said that he's heard nothing, hasn't had any conversations with management about being moved. And I just can't see a way, Dave, where they can re-sign him. Without his contract next year, they're already at $58 million with the people they have under contract for next year without him. Now he's making $12 million this year. Williams shooting 40% from three-point land on the year. We talked about him being an all-star. What do you think? You think he's an all-star, Dave? Again, to your point, as Anthony scores, with the guys he has in front of him, Chris Paul and Steve Nash. Once you get Tracy McGrady, who go back to the end of the second quarter, it's a 14-2 run by Utah. Here's Anthony, now in double figures, the league's leading scorer on the season, has 10 points tonight. Uh, just too strong for Brewer. Great ability of Carmelo to put the ball on the floor going left or right, and he's got such great strength as we see another very poor pass from Karolinko. I don't think people realize how quick Carmelo is. He's got one of the quicker first steps that we have in the league, and there he gets great contact. Again to the left. Draws a contact on Karolinko and makes, knocks it down. Uh, but this guy, to me, one of the top three or four one-on-one -on -one players we have in the game. Obviously, he's number one in scoring in the league, but he's relentless. Both times going to his left. This time gets the contact from Karolinko. A nice soft touch and a mid-range jumper. Five straight points for Carmelo Anthony, who's number one among West forwards in all-star voting. And by the way, paper balloting is closed now, but votes could be cast till midnight tomorrow on NBA.com. Back in his way down and followed by Kirilenko. He'll go back to the free throw line. Well, how about the difference there? What a beautiful move is Billups. Uh, he's having a terrific season. Talked to him before the game. He told us he's getting married this summer. Doesn't have a date set just yet, but... And gets fouled by Brewer as he just punished him down low, just pounded him to the hoop, and he'll go to the line. Eight points a game from the free throw line for Carmelo Anthony. Well, Carmelo, Coach Carl, a couple years ago, saying he had a 10-10-10 rule for Carmelo, which I thought was interesting. He said, if you give me 10 post-ups and 10 free throws, you can have 10 jump shots. So basically, he, he made this guy become a more aggressive player by starting from the inside out. And I think it's clearly helped Carmelo's game. Anthony tried to hit a flalo. Got clock at seven. Anthony with a spin on Brewer and score. What a move by Melo. And C.J. Miles cannot handle Carmelo Anthony down in the box. Picked up the foul there, so Utah is in the penalty. Anthony with 10 points here in the quarter. In the playoffs in the Eastern Conference. Who's the best team right now in the East? Cleveland's the best team in the East right now, today. Now, do you say that because of the injuries to yes. Boston? Yes, and yes. Boston has not had Orlando. their full complement all season long. Mm -hmm. And that goes back to even opening night. A big baby Davis has been out, so they haven't had the full complement of their team. I believe that if they're healthy, that they come out of the East. His first NBA three in just his fifth career game. Well, there's Melo again in the paint. There's no way that C.J. Miles can handle him down in the box. Too strong, too quick. Anthony can go anywhere he wants to get any type of shot he wants. As we see, a great spin move here. And Miles has to foul him as he gets to the basket. Anthony, 8 of 9 at the line. He had 12 third quarter points, now 21 for the game. Averaging a career high 29.8 points per game. That is seven points per game more than he averaged last year. Why do you think that is? We, we asked Coach Carl that, and he didn't really know what the biggest reason was other than maybe not being as frustrated when things didn't go well. Two fouls on Utah with what you just said about Carmelo Anthony as he gets to the basket and scores and is fouled. 
How much do you include him in the midseason MVP discussion, JB? Well, I think he's got to be up there. Great team success as we see him here again off the dribble. Tends to go left. I think we've noticed that tonight, Dave. Every, every move he makes to the basket seems to be going to the left, but great strength here again, avoiding the charge, and he finishes. Yeah, you know, you got to talk to him about MVP. Certainly LeBron, Kobe. Uh, what about Kevin Durant? I mean, if he keeps his Oklahoma City team uh, in the mix, Dirk Nowitzki's been sensational. 19 points, one out of three at the strike. Anthony tried to fire it inside the Nene, got it back. Beautiful spin and score by Melo. Oh, wow. And a technical foul on George Carl. He wanted a foul as well and didn't get it. <laughs> I'll put a cowboy hat on for you. That's about all I'll go with. You and Jared Allen, maybe you can borrow those jean shorts he had on. As the Carmelo Anthony gets inside and scores again. Starting to take over. He's got 29. And he's done most of his damage in the paint. Back to Carmelo against Miles. What a oh, move. Up, excuse me. What a move by Carmelo Anthony. He's got 31. He had eight at halftime. Again, which way did he go? Here's Carmelo. 23 points this half. Going to the goal again. <laughs> Anthony's so tough. Down low. Oh, they have Millsap on Anthony, and he's gone left every time he's put the ball on the floor. Can they figure this out? Phillips lost it. Anthony cleans it up. What a move and score by Melo again. 35 for Anthony. To the left, double clutch, got some contact, banks it in. Carmelo Anthony, what a second half. Williams out to Matthews. Williams probably had a layup. Instead, he'll shoot a fall away three. It's blocked. Out to Anthony. Exclamation point coming. You got it. <laughs> well, I love the patience there. He waited for Millsap to come down. He knew what he was going to get. 